Hey, everybody. John Hope Bryant. And uh, normally I admire the financial advice of those who are already successful for obvious reasons. You model what you see. I've already told you uh, in the, the book, The Memo, if you hang around nine broke people, you'll be the 10th. I've already told you stop hanging around broke people exclusively, uh, at least for advice and counsel. Uh, so what's different now? Because I'm definitely telling you not to take this advice. What's different now is that for some reason, a lot of my rich friends are giving really bad advice on home ownership. You see them on TV. They're like, don't buy a home. If you're poor and struggling, if you're middle class, working class, maybe you shouldn't buy a home. You should rent. What the heck are you talking about? The very folks who say don't buy a home own a home. <laughs> Sometimes they own several. Literally, like everybody on TV, these commentators who say minorities shouldn't buy, own a home, own a home. And if it's good for them, it's probably good for you. Let me tell you all the really neat, important things about owning a home. First of all, if you're the average working class person and 60, you know, half of America makes less than $60,000 a year. And if you're paying, you know, $1,000, $1,200 a month in rent, uh, and, you know, I own a company, full disclosure, called the Promise Homes Company. That is my average rent at the Promise Homes Company, which operates in low-wealth neighborhoods. But if you're, if you're paying $1,000, $1,200 a month in rent uh, for an apartment, uh, then you could, be, you, you could have the ability to own a home for that same amount of money, maybe less. And, uh, and if you're renting, which by the way, I'm a landlord, I want you to rent, okay, if that's what your proclivity is, and I've rented, all right? There's a time and a place for everything. It's like stepping stones. You shouldn't work at McDonald's your whole life, but it might be a good job for a period of time. So rent when it works, but understand that every year, if you're paying, you know, if you're paying $2,500 a month in rent, $2,000 a month in rent, let's make this easy, uh, you're literally raising a window and throwing out, and you're making $50,000 a year, you're throwing about half of your pay out a window, you get nothing for it. But when you own a home, listen now, the tax system was designed to promote home ownership. So when you own a home, the first, if you have a 30 year mortgage and you've got a decent credit score, by the way, it's gonna be cheaper to own than it will to rent. But if you own that home, you know, I don't know, almost two thirds of your 30 year uh, mortgage amortization, let's make this easy, Half of the mortgage your average, well, the mortgage payments you make will go to interest, which are tax deductible, which means you write it off against your taxes. So if you're if you're paying two thousand dollars a month or a thousand dollars a month for a mortgage payment, you get to write substantially all of that off against your income, and you get it back in a tax refund. You also get what's called depreciation uh, when you own a home. You also get what's called appreciation when you own a home, which means that as the home increases in value using the power of good debt and leverage, meaning that you put down 5, 10, 20% down and the bank finance 80, 90, 95%. If you have good credit, 95%, they'll bank, they'll finance, which means you're using the bank's leverage on your appreciation. That's another video for another time, but just trust me on this. Your little equity and their big good debt, which means well-priced debt that is that that appreciates with an asset, uh, leaves you better off. You're earning you're earning multiples on your appreciation. You're earning multiples on your equity based on the appreciation of that house. Now, here's a bonus. You've now. Um, bought an ATV, and this is a personal example. You bought an ATV, a UTV, which are all-terrain vehicles, utilitarian, util, ut, utility terrain vehicles, et cetera. You bought, and you financed it. You bought, you, you had your, your closets redone, uh, and you financed it, and you had some home improvements done, and you financed it, and you've got some credit card debt, and you've got, you know, a vacation you did, and you financed it. Now you got these six or eight different credit vehicles out there all of which are dragging down your credit score and um, costing you cash flow every month because each one of them are individual payments. If you have good credit, listen to me now. This is why I keep trying to tell you to raise that credit score. If you have good credit, you can go to my Hope Inside coaches and they'll help you get good credit. You've got good credit and you refinance that mortgage. Today, they're almost giving away money. I'm refinancing right now. The rates are like three, three and a half percent. 
you get to refinance all that debt, some of it bad debt, into good debt. One mortgage at three or four or five percent that bring down your monthly payments significantly. Your credit score goes up and your payment comes down. All right, that's John Hope Bryant on home ownership and the one example where the really wealthy give really bad advice. Tell a friend, uh, spread the message, follow me on all my channels and Operation Hope too. And go see a Hope Financial Coach today, 888-388-HOPE, operationhope.org or the Hope in Hand app. Love and light. Silver rights.